That is the Jennifer Aniston, the Rachel 2024 edit. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you much for being here. So on today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be breaking down the Rachel. Yes, Jennifer Aniston debuted her new Rachel cut at the Golden Globes 2024. Is that right? 2024? Yeah, 2024. And I'm going to break it down for you a super simple way. So what we're going to be looking at is she's got a side part. She's got long face frame bangs, layers, um, but it's very similar to the kitty cut, which is making the rounds on a trending haircut at the minute. But I've just been sort of looking at Google Trends and Rachel, the Jennifer Aniston haircut, or the other way, Jennifer Aniston's haircut, the Rachel, is trending 300% across all platforms. So I thought I would bring you this video and just show you how we're going to break it down. So she debuted it at the Golden Globes 2024 and everyone is going crazy because she looks incredible. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the side part, we're going to be looking at how it falls, so it's going to be quite long and we're going to get straight into the haircut. So if you love it, let me know down below, give a thumbs up on this video if you absolutely love her new updated Rachel haircut and then let's get into the haircut. So here's the haircut we're going to be breaking down. You can already see I've got the section pattern in. Again, if you've watched any of my videos on breaking down haircuts, <clears throat> you'll understand that I break it down into its simplest form of ponytails. We cut it, we explore it, and then we do a salon version. So section pattern's already in, but I am going to draw it out here for those who really love to, rather than do it practically, they like to see it on a bit of paper. Mannequin head. So again, we're just going to split it down like so. We've got a ponytail here and we've got a ponytail right up here. So there's a ponytail right up there, which is there. And then we've got a ponytail making it look like a turban. Reason for this, if you look at Jennifer Aniston's new hair, it's a lot longer. So if we were gonna elevate, we'd have got a lot more sort of layering and we'd have got it what, a bit softer than we want to achieve it. We want it to be sort of like a little bit heavier to frame the face, which is why we'll have a look, a proper look in a second, but you can see the front looks like a turban coming up through there. And that's how we want it. We want it to swoop over the ears and up and then down to the ears again. And then this top ponytail, we want to be bringing right over to the front cutting it off there so when it falls we maintain length and we put a soft layer in we don't want uh, any really sort of heavy layering or anything like that you'll see when i pop the pictures in how jennifer anderson is wearing it it's probably sitting around about here and then floats around about the collarbone and then when we look here it's very much this is all dropped out because it doesn't reach but it's very much sitting around about there and there is a subtle layer in there Right, so when we're looking at this haircut breakdown and the section pattern, you've seen, I did put it into four quadrants just so I could get balance. We're going to be working on a side part. But, so for everybody who wanted to know if, if a wolf cut, wolf cut or a butterfly haircut can be worn on a side part, I am going to be cutting from centre, but we're going to flick it over. The rule of thumb when it comes to partings, if your parting doesn't travel more than an inch from middle, you can basically cut it from middle and then if you need to refine it or anything in the in sort of like the post haircut the refining stage you can but when it comes to something like this and just learning how you can bring it all to the middle or all to your guide and then just put it into a, into a side part because if we're working on it on an inch it's not really that much so it can be it can be moved either way so that's that's the aim of that and then with the the top section we're just going to really elevate and over direct it to the front and we're not going to be taking off much at all so just look at the sectioning pattern if you've seen many of my ponytail haircuts before it's very reminiscent of a lot of those which is just a little bit of a different placement so this is brought right up to the top of there to that section right on that top piece and i pulled it really tight because i want to be able to maintain all that hair pulled all the way up and pull to the front because then we maintain all that length and we put in that subtle layer. But let's start with the front. Let's get her facing. And like I said about the turban, so as you can see, it comes from that, which is just behind the back of the ear and then just swoops over the ear and comes up slightly 
into that forehead. But we, we, we've got this quite low because I don't want a lot of softness with it. I don't want a lot of elevation. I want to maintain a lot of the, the fullness and the density in those layers. So where we're actually going to be working is 90 degrees from the head. So you can class it as layering. Anything above 90 and 90 and above is layering. Anything below 90 degrees is graduation. So if I was working down here and then cutting in, we'd be graduating. But because we're working here, elevating to that 90 degrees, we are going to be layering, but it's going to be the heaviest possible layer. And then when it comes to here, we're elevating like this, but we are pulling really quite forward as if we're working just above 90 degrees. I could be working up here, 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 like that. But we're going to be pulling 90 degrees. And let me stress 90 degrees to the floor, not 90 degrees. That would be 90 degrees to the head, like so. We're going to be working there. So just so you know. So where she's wearing it, she's wearing it sort of, it drops around here and then here and then here. So I don't actually want to be taking that much off. I'm going to stand this side actually. There we go. So you can see there, perfect view of the sectioning pattern. Because we could even bring this to there, which I might actually do. So we get the least amount of layers possible. And what about if we use that as a guide? People often say that. I'm going to do that. So this is going to give you a really good guide when it comes to cutting. We're going to cut the back first today. So I'm going to be taking off, what's that, about three inches off of there. So like so, I'm stretching it right over that head and I'm just going to be point cutting. Point cutting to create softness, but the angle of the hair is to create a stronger silhouette or a stronger shape. But I can break it down sl slightly by point cutting. So there we go. So that is sitting there. Now I'm going to be taking that. My fingers are resting where that hair comes to on there. My fingers are just going to rest on there. And then that is where I'm going to point cut from. Again, point cutting because I want lots and lots of softness. And we are just working a nice straight line across. I'm trying to do it as best as I can so you guys can see exactly what's happening. But we have got a guide from that back. That's where my fingers are resting on that line. Again, just make sure I don't cut my finger, just readjust. And then we're just gonna come in from this side. Let's just flick that back there. And then, because we've got it so blunt, I'm just going to deep point cut just into this section. So there we go, just like that. So there it is. That's a, just a nice blunt line. So you can see there, that there, that was pulled over to match that guide there. I'm not saying it's going to connect because we've done that. I've just literally used that as a guide as to how much I'm going to take off. And then my favorite bit. I haven't done this in 2024 yet. Give it a little shake. Someone in my comments the other day said uh, they wish they could, they could do this. Take the head off and shake it. And there we have it, guys. So you can see we've got the side part. All I did, I just had to wet it down a little bit with some water. Just be able to take out that part in, sprayed it down, combed it either way, and just blow dried it over. And then that is how we've created that shape. So you can see, you've just got it sitting around about, what's that, her jawline? Jawline, if you look here, around about her jawline. And then just that flicking out, which is how she's wearing it at the Golden Globes 2024. Let's just have a little look at the back. Because I know everybody always says, he never shows the back. Here you go. That is how it looks. So you can see there's a, there's a long layer sitting below the occipital bone, which is the bump on the back of your head there. 
but still keeping all of that lovely density. That is the Jennifer Aniston, the Rachel 2024 edit. Let me know in the comments if you like it. How simple is it? If we were to do that in salon, let me tell you, we wouldn't be doing it in a ponytail, that's for sure. What we would do is we would section how we sectioned, like I showed you on the chart, back and back to front, we'd have two sections of the hair, and then we'd be pulling that hair, elevating up this side to maintain the length through there, and we'd be pulling straight out from the head and then cutting it. With the back, we'd be bringing it up and over, direct into the front, and then we'd be cutting it to create that soft layer. The more you elevate and over direct, the longer you're gonna maintain that, that hair length. And that's how you achieve that. So, thank you so much for watching. If you do love it, please share the video and I'll see you on the next video.